we can make targeted cancer vaccines for patients that will be accessible to healthcare systems around the world. I remember sitting in um, a room at school watching a space shuttle launch and there was always this enthusiasm for this what technology could achieve for humanity. I guess I was sort of a typical Asian kid. Parents really keen for me to work hard at school, get good grades. Would have been very easy for me to follow my father's career into computer science. But I realized I was missing something. I, I wanted to do something more related to people. One in two people get cancer. 10 million people die every year from cancer. 70 to 90% of people who die from cancer die from metastases. I remember during my PhD, we were comparing our vaccines in a range of mice and the results started to come out. And it was very quickly clear that the mice that were getting our precision immunomics vaccine were growing smaller tumors and some of them weren't growing tumors at all. What we do differently is we target the exact proteins on the cancers uh, so that we only fight the cancers and nothing else. One of the biggest problems in oncology is side effects. Chemotherapy is ghastly. And in fact, immunotherapies are also toxic in the sense that they cause um, elevated immune responses from the immune system attacking healthy tissues. What we can do now is introduce the precision element that immunotherapies cannot. We can work with a surgeon who will remove the cancer. We will then give a vaccine as a prime and a boost that trains the immune system so that cancer will never come back. It's a platform of discovery and delivery that we can use again and again for as many cancers as we can find the targets. If you look at Moderna's really formidable trial results, they managed to get a 44% reduction in the risk of death or recurrence in advanced melanoma. But to achieve that, they had to give nine shots of vaccine and 18 shots of a checkpoint blockade drug called pembrolizumab. The list price of that pembrolizumab is $196,000. We can give a prime and a booster vaccine, which in preclinical trials gives 80% protection from death or recurrence and completely stops metastases. And the cost to make that would be $1,000. The science that became Infinitopes came out of my PhD and we took that to the Conception X program. I was a PhD student at Oxford University, Merton College. My co-founder, Senthil Chinakanan, said I've got this amazing program in London that's going to help us turn this project into uh, a company. We had the basic idea of our science fairly well formed. We knew what we wanted to do. Um, what we weren't really sure was how to operationalize it. And that's really what Conception X gave us, a framework and contacts and ways to get sort of money and access to people and resources. We started off as three co-founders. Over two years, we now have 38 in our team. And we went from having no money to being able to raise $18.8 .8 million. Moderna and BioNTech have gone on the record that they believe that uh, their first cancer vaccines could be on the market by 2030. We can match that deadline.